welcome to the official Hermit's Hounds and Horses Q&A video. This is my 500 subscriber special. And before I get into the video, I just want to thank all of my subscribers for helping me reach this milestone, as well as everyone that sent me questions because this video would not be possible otherwise. All right, so before I start off, I just want to say that I know there's been a lack of uploads on my channel recently, and that is because I am finishing up school. However, I have about four videos that I'm in the process of making now, and they will be up soon. Alright, so to start off with, our first question is, what made you want to start your YouTube channel? I'd always liked the idea of having a YouTube channel, just because you can really do whatever you want with it and make it however way you want it. So I'd always wanted to do it, and then my brother actually started a YouTube channel before me. He has a really neat channel, it's quite funny, and I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. Once he started his, I was kind of like, you know what, I'm going to do it too. Alright, our next question is, where do you get your shells from, and where do you buy your other pet supplies? So, pet supplies I normally get at one of our local pet stores. We have Petco, PetSmart, Pet Supplies Plus, and Pet Supermarket, I think is the other one. And I get a lot of my pet supplies from those stores. Um, obviously, if it's something I can make myself or buy somewhere else cheaper, then I will. For example, I use containers for my hermit crab pools, and I bought those at Walmart because that's cheaper than buying actual dishes from a pet store. Now, as far as where I get my hermit crab shells from, I actually find a lot of them at the beach. If you live in a place that has hermit crabs at the beach, I wouldn't recommend taking shells from the beach because you're taking them from the wild hermit crab population. But the area of Florida that I live in does not have hermit crabs, and so I get most of my shells from the beach. The rest of my shells I usually get from a local beach store. We have a lot of stores that sell things like shells and sponges and sea urchins and starfish and all kinds of stuff. So I do get some stuff from stores like that. The next question is, what are your favorite YouTube channels and websites for hermit crabs? So I honestly don't watch a lot of other hermit crab YouTube channels. If I do watch hermit crab videos on YouTube, it's usually of tank setups and DIY projects so that I can get ideas for myself. But as far as hermit crab websites, I do like the Hermit Crab Association and I will leave a link to that website below. It's actually a forum that has hermit crab owners from all around the world. A lot of them have owned hermit crabs for 30 or 40 years and they're really experienced, so they have a ton of good information on that website. I have owned hermit crabs for almost 20 years now, but the Hermit Crab Association has helped me learn even more about hermit crabs. So, Alright, so the next question is, what is your favorite pet? my best friend. Only problem is dog hair. The next question is what other hobbies do you have? I enjoy pretty much anything that is active and outdoors. I like swimming, running, biking, basically anything that is outside and lets you move around I enjoy doing. I also do martial arts and I will hopefully be getting my black belt soon. So um, I would have to say photography is also one of my hobbies. I definitely enjoy doing it. If you guys would like to see some of my photography, I'll put a link below to my personal Instagram account that has a lot of my photography on there. Can you do more hermit crab videos like DIY projects and a tank tour? So believe it or not, I have actually filmed about three tank tours and I have never uploaded them because I just haven't been happy with them. But yes, a tank tour is on my list of things to do, and I am hoping to make more DIY project videos because I know that is what a lot of you guys are subscribed for. How big should a tank be for hermit crabs if you have a second level? Pretty much the amount of space you need for your hermit crabs depends on the size of the crabs. So for most crabs, you want typically 
five gallons per crab. And then when they get larger, when you have a large size hermit crab or a jumbo hermit crab, you would want to have about 10 gallons per crab. So I think the amount of crabs you have doesn't really change depending on if you have a second level or not. And I personally think that everyone should have a second level just to give their hermit crabs more space to climb. Alright, the next question is, how much confidence do you need to have to make a YouTube channel? So, to be honest, I actually haven't been very confident in making YouTube videos. Initially, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to show my face at all, I'm not going to talk at all if I don't need to, and I'm just going to show my animals. And I found out pretty quickly that that was very hard to do, and it was actually very boring. So over time, I have been more confident in being seen and talking in front of the camera, although I am still a little bit nervous. Next question is, do you like snakes? No. Just no. I find snakes to be quite scary and I do not see myself owning any. What did your first hermit crab tank look like? So I actually want to make a video showing the progress of my hermit crab tanks over the years. Um, let me know if you guys would be interested in that. I've owned hermit crabs almost all my life and I'm not sure that I have any photos of my original tank, but I can tell you that originally I was just like everyone else and I kept my hermit crabs in one of those round mesh cages with some gravel and yeah, I pretty much killed my hermit crabs doing that. The good part of the story is that I have learned from my mistakes and with the help of the internet and now taking proper care of my crabs. The last question for today is what are some things you would change about your hermit crab tank? I think really the only thing I would change about my tank would be to have a bigger one. Right now I have a 29 gallon and ideally I would like to have maybe a 50 gallon because that would enable me to do a lot more DIY videos. Right now I think there's not a whole lot of space to do extra projects like that. So yeah, it would probably just be to have a bigger tank. So that was our Q&A video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But before you leave, I have a couple questions for you guys. I know you all want more DIY videos and I will be trying to get those out to you. But I also want to know if you would be interested in a hermit crab care series, like a beginner's guide walking you through all the different steps of hermit crab care, such as substrate or humidity, temperature, types of hermit crabs, types of shells, that type of thing, let me know. And also guys, I want to know what I should do when we reach a thousand subscribers, let me know in the comments below. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please leave it a like. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do it so that we can reach that 1,000 subscriber goal. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!